Hey everyone, and in this video, we're going to be creating a basic client plot using Python programming. But first, let's go to collab the research google.com. Now let's click on enter. Now let's click on the cancel button and click on new code cell. Now let's scroll down to type the text. And let's say a hashtag to write a comment and then a Gmail tag and say title. So this is where we're going to make our title. And let's say line plots. After that, add two spaces on the third line. Write from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. This means from this from function means from a big module, we're going to be importing matplotlib. And inside that big module, we're going to import a small module called pyplot and use the as function to rename it because it's too long as plt. There's another way to write this. We just say import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and these two do the same thing so these two lines basically just import the same matplotlib a big module and inside it they import the small module pyplot and rename it as plt that's what these two this nine train line four do now we're going to import another module called the pandas as a pd now let me explain these modules Matplotlib is used for creating data tables and bases in Python, while Pandas is used to open files in your folder. And you're importing Pandas as PD. Now, we'll need a CSV file so we can use our Pandas. We'll go to the files area and click on this button here. And then we will upload our CSV file. Now I've opened mine. And you guys can open yours. The CSV file I have is of a fruit chart in CSV. So what we're going to do here is df is equal. This df is just an abbreviation for data frame for our variable. Then we'll say pd, which is the pandas module that we've renamed dot read and this is how pandas reads the csv files you click on read and underscore then you can see all these different options we can read csv excel feather fwf html and we have so many here to read sql sql query the table of sql and xml json we have so many but we're sticking with CSV. Then we we'll add a bracket to show that we're reading a CSV file. Then a comma, and then in here, we're going to write the name of the CSV file we want to open. We'll say fruits.csv, since that's the name of my file. You guys could write the name of your own file in here. If you run this, you don't get anything because what we just basically did here was that we used this variable df and we set this variable to the pandas module reading a csv file and then we put the name of the csv file which means we're just giving this variable the data of this file and that's all we just did now to show the table of it we're going to say df.head and now what this does here is the head function Prints the first five elements of a list. And if you're wondering where this function came from, it's from the pandas module. So the head function is going to print the first five functions of this, the first five elements of this CSV file. If we run it, we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekdays. We'll also start where we wanted to start and where we want it to end. 
like if I should say seven, it presents the seven days of the week to Sunday. Seven, we get the first seven elements of the list, which means we get one day to Sunday. Now, you can see that we have fruits here. We have oranges, apples, and mangoes. And this is the value of the or of the fruits we have on each day of the week. So on Monday, we had 11 oranges. Tuesday, we had 14. Wednesday, we had 12. Thursday, we had 9. Friday, we had 8. Saturday, we had 10. And Sunday, we had 7. And it's also the same for the apples and the mangoes. So this is a table using the CSV file from Pandas module. But that's not what we're going to look at today. We're looking at a line plot. So to create the line plot, this is where we're going to be using matplotlib since we haven't used it yet. We're going to do plt because that's what we rename pyplot in the matplotlib function dot plot. Which means we're going to be plotting something onto the field. We're going to say df. And you can see we have days, oranges, mangoes, apples. Let's say days and df of apples. Actually, let's say oranges since it's the first value we have. This has a spacer to show that it's an integer because we can see that this has numbers. That's why, that's how Pandas and Matplotlib know this is an integer value. And this is how they know this is a string value because it doesn't have a space. Because if we add this space here, we get an error, which we don't want. So we're going to remove that space. If we plot this here, you can see Monday to Sunday, and this blue line is actually the oranges value, starting from 11 to 14 to 12 to 9 to 8, 10, and then 7. That's how it works. Now, if we're going to be making the others, you're going to copy, paste, and paste. Now, this orange is here. We're going to say apples. So they know that's the apples. And I would say mangoes. Now if we run this here, you should see we get random. But how do we know which one is exactly the oranges, the apples, and the mangoes? If we know the oranges is the blue one, how do we know the apple and the mango? Which one is them? This is where the matplotlib legend function comes in handy. With that, we can label all of them so we know which one is which. To write this, we're going to say legend, then a bracket, uh, inside the bracket, we'll add a square bracket that says apples, oranges, And then mangoes. But we're going to need to arrange them in the perfect order. Else the oranges label will be acting as the apples label. So we add oranges at the front. Now let's remove that comma. Now we need to add remove these things because they all just stay in one bracket. If you'll see here, when we run it, let's run it, we see a blue line for oranges, a orange line for apples, and a green line for mangoes, which means this is the the orange line here that goes up and down is the orange is the apples. This blue line here is the oranges and the green is a mango. But they're all just colors by themselves. What if we want to change the colors so we can know them by color? To do this, we're going to use matplotlib color changing. This function here allows us to change the color with only specific types. 
So in the oranges, I could say O for circle. And to dash is what this means here. It's worth defining a circle shape plot. But we want to run it yet. We need a color. And we have R for red, B for blue, G for green. We have many colors. But we don't have O for orange since this O here determines a circle. Now let's say just Y for yellow. I'll run this. And we get oranges has yellow line plot. This is how it shows it's a circle plot. So what this here means circle and yellow. So Python scene this O as a circle and then this Y as the color yellow because that's the color. Now we could copy this one here to make it faster. Let's paste. And apples of course would be red. Now to run it and then we get circle plots. But if you're wondering if circle is the only color we have or the only shape we have, we have one more shape. Let's paste it in mangoes and this last shape is square. The reason why it has one dash is because they use it to determine a square shape. We can't add O with one dash because it's a bring an error. And we can't add S with two dashes because it's also bring an error. Now let's change this to G for green. Now what this different line here means square green, which means Python defines this as a score sheet and then the color green. Run this and we get a square plot. Now all that's left is a grid. The grids are tiny little squares on the place. Let's do plt.grid. And now this grid function is what we use to define little square tiles. To make it work, we're going to say true to show it that we've on it with that bullet. Then we get this here. So this is how we know. You can see the line on here. Then here, it changes all the time. Now that's how to create the plots. If we run it. We get to plan. So we basically just made our very own line plot using Python program. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. See you later. Bye.